I was awoken at 10 to 6 in the morning by a phone call from Louise at work, who had phoned me to tell me that Stuart had been in a car accident. Paramedics had said that there might be something wrong with his brain and I was taken to New Cross Hospital. When I walked in, I instantly knew Stuart had had a stroke because his face had fallen on the left side, couldn't move his arm or his leg, anything down the left side, and his speech was slurred. They kept taking him for different scans and they were like, we think he may have had a stroke, we think he's got a blood clot. After they did the third scan, they were like, oh, we, we're sending him to Stoke because he needs to have a procedure to get rid of the blood clot that he's got on the right side of his brain. I was completely unaware I'd had a stroke. I thought everything worked on my body, but it just didn't work. When Stuart came to hospital, he was found to have a large stroke, which um, uh, actually caused blockage of one of the main vessels of his brain. Now, such strokes, either they have um, an outcome of severe disability or death. The New Cross Hospital in Wolverhampton doesn't have facilities to uh, take the clot out in a mechanical manner. So he was transferred to Royal Stoke Hospital and we were pretty confident that we can help him. There have been a number of devices for stroke thrombectomy in market at the moment which uh, remove clots from the brain. We all know for every minute you delay there are millions of brain cells which are at risk. The procedure started from the groin we actually insert a tube from the groin and we take it all the way to the main vessels in the neck. And from there, we take a very small tube into the brain. Through that tube, we place a stent into the clot in the brain and uh, we then extract the clot by pulling this device out. This is um, the angiogram of Stuart. And when he came on the main vessels of the brain, there's no flow going there following which we went on to use a stent river device. 12 minutes later, the whole, everything is opened up. We managed to get the clot out and also open up all the vessels in the brain. A very good result from the procedure. After the operation, I was home the following day. Because as soon as I did the operation, it was like, it was normal, everything worked. There are only 24 centres in the UK which provide uh, this form of uh, service. This has shown a, a huge benefit for the patient population, having treated more than 500 patients to date. We took him straight to our um, theatre and we managed to do the procedure, which managed to save his life and also you know, get him back on his feet. How hey, somebody can go from not moving their left side of their body at all whatsoever, to going home the next day was just incredible. It, it was brilliant. It should be in every hospital. It should be there for everybody. If Stuart can walk away in one day, what can other people do? All the cases I've done so far, I have managed to get the clot out in a very first attempt. And I wasn't expecting this, honestly. And this has been a very good result by, from this device. I don't think so there's anything more satisfying than seeing a patient who's come into the hospital paralyzed, disabled and um, or probably who's going to die. Being able to walk out of the hospital in just a matter of days, it's I think the most satisfying job anyone can do. I'd just like to thank Dr. Nark and his team for the procedure they did that day. Because without them I don't know where I'd be today. <laughs>